Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to day 260 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly go ahead right now. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Arulaba. Let's get started. Day 260, September 17th, 2023. 365 days Bible reading. Old Testament, Isaiah 41, Isaiah 42. New Testament, Galatians 3, 10 to 25. Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs 22, 28 to 29, Proverbs 23, 1 to 9. Old Testament NIV version, Isaiah 41, 1 to 29. The helper of Israel. Be silent before me, you islands. Let the nations renew their strength. Let them come forward and speak. Let us meet together at the place of judgment. Who has stirred up one from the east, calling him in righteousness to his service? He hands nations over to him and subdues kings before him. He turns them to dust with his sword, to, my, to wind blown chaff with his bow. He pursues them and moves on. Unscathed by a path his feet have not travelled before, who has done this and carried it through, calling for the generations from the beginning, I the Lord with the first of them and with the last, I am he. The islands have seen it and fear. The ends of the earth tremble, they approach and come forward, they help each other and say to their companions, be strong. The metal worker encourages the goldsmith and the one who smooths with the hammer, spurs on the one who strikes the anvil. One says of the welding, it is good, the other nails down the idol so it will not topple. But you, Israel, my servant Jacob, when I have whom I have chosen, you descendants of Abraham, my friend, I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners I called you. I said, You are my servant, I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. Those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, you warm Jacob like little Israel. Do not fear. For I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. See, I will make you into a threshing sledge, new and sharp with many teeth. You will thresh the mountains and crush them and reduce the hills to chaff. You will winnow them, the wind will pick them up and a gale will blow them away. But you will rejoice in the Lord and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The poor and needy search for water, but there is none. Their tongues are parched with thirst, but I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will make rivers flow on barren heights and springs within the valleys. I will turn the desert into pools of water and the parched ground into springs. I will put in the desert the cedar and the acacia, the myrtle and the olive. I will set junipers in the wasteland, the fir and the cypress together, so that people may see and know, may consider and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, that the Holy One of Israel has created it. Present your case, says the Lord. Set forth your argument, says Jacob's king. Tell us, you idols, what is going to happen. Tell us what the former things were, so that we may consider them and know their final outcome. Or declare to us the things to come. Tell us what the future holds, so th we may know that you are God. Do something, whether good or bad, so that we will be dismayed and filled with fear. But you are less than nothing, and your works are utterly worthless. 
Whoever chooses you is detestable. I have stirred up one from the north and he comes. One from the rising sun who calls on my name. He treads on rulers as if they were mortar, as if he were a porter, treading the clay. Who told you of this from the beginning? So we could know or beforehand so we could say he was right. No one told of this. No one foretold it. No one heard any words from you. I was the first to tell Zion. Look, here they are. I gave to Jerusalem a messenger of good news. I look but there is no one, no one among the gods to give counsel, no one to give answer when I ask them. See, they are all false. Their deeds amount to nothing. Their images are but wind and confusion. Isaiah 42, 1 to 25, the servant of the Lord. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him. And he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his teaching the island will put their hope. This is what God the Lord says, the creator of the heavens who stretches them out, who spreads out the earth with all that springs from it, who gives bread to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and will make you to be the covenant, to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles. To open eyes that are blind, to free captives from prison, and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place and new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you. Song of Praise to the Lord Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the ends of the earth. You will go down to the sea and all that is in it, you islands, and all will live in them. Let the wilderness and its towns raise their voices. Let the settlements where Kedar lives rejoice. Let the people of Selah sing for joy. Let them shout from the mountaintops. Let them give glory to the Lord and proclaim his praise in the islands. The Lord will march out like a champion, like a warrior. He will stir up his zeal with a shout. He will raise the battle cry and will triumph over his enemies. For a long time I have kept silent. I have been quiet and held myself back. But now, like a woman in childbirth, I cry out, I gasp and pant. I will lay waste the mountains and hills and dry up all their vegetation. I will turn rivers into islands and dry up the pools. I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Along on familiar paths, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness into light before them and make the rough places smooth these are the things i will do i will not forsake them but those who trust in idols who say to images you are our gods will be turned back in utter shame israel blind and deaf hear you deaf look you blind and see who is blind but my servant and deaf like the messenger i sent who is blind like the one in covenant with me blind like the servant of the lord you have seen many things but you pay no attention your ears are open but you do not listen it pleased the lord for the sake of his righteousness to make his law great and glorious but this is a people plundered and looted all of them trapped in pits or hidden away in prisons they have become plunder with no one to rescue them. They have been made loot with no one to say, send them back. Which of you will listen to this or pay close attention in time to come? Who handed Jacob over to become loot and Israel to be the plunderers? Was it not the Lord against whom we have sinned for? They would not follow his ways. He did. They did not obey his law. So he poured out on them his burning anger, the violence of war. It enveloped them in flames, yet they did not understand. It consumed them, but they did not take it to heart. 
New Testament NIV version Galatians 3 10 to 25 for all who rely on the works of the law are under a curse as it is written cursed is everyone who does not continue to do everything written in the book of the law clearly no one who relies on the law is justified before God because the righteous will live by faith the law is not based on faith on the contrary it says the person who does these things will live by them Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us for it is written cursed is everyone who is hung on a pole he redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus so that by faith we might receive the promise of the spirit the law and the promise brothers and sisters let me take an example from every day life just as no one can set aside or add to a human covenant that has been duly established so it is in this case the promises were spoken to abraham and to his seed scripture does not say and to seeds meaning many people but and to your seed meaning one person who is christ what i mean is this the law introduced 430 years later does not set aside the covenant previously established by god and thus do away with the promise for if the inheritance depends on the law then it no longer depends on the promise but god in his grace gave it to abraham through a promise why then was the law given at all it was added because of the transgressions until the seed to whom the promise referred had come the law was given through angels and entrusted to a mediator a mediator however implies more than one party but god is one is the law therefore opposed to the promises of god absolutely not for if a law had been given that could impart life then righteousness would certainly have come by the law but scripture has looked locked up everything under the control of sin so that what was promised being given through faith in jesus christ might be given to those who believe children of god before the coming of this faith we were held in custody on that law locked up until the faith that was to come could be revealed so the law was our guardian until christ came that we might be justified by faith now that this faith has come we are no longer under a guardian hallelujah Psalms and Proverbs, Proverbs 22, 28 to 29, saying number five, do not move an ancient boundary stone set up by your ancestors, saying number six, do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve before kings. They will not serve before officials of low rank. Proverbs 23, 1 to 9, saying number 7, When you sit to dine with a ruler, not well what is before you, and put a knife to your throat if you are given to gluttony. Do not crave his delicacies, for that food is deceptive. Saying number 8, Do not wear yourself out to get rich. Do not trust your own cleverness. Cast but a glance at riches, and they are gone, for they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle saying number nine do not eat the food of a begrudging host do not crave his delicacies for he is the kind of person who is always thinking about the cost eat and drink he says to you but his heart is not with you you will vomit up the little you have eaten and will have wasted your compliments saying number 10 do not speak to fools for they will scorn your prudent words hallelujah amen glory to god Please, if you've been blessed by the scriptures and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, kindly repeat this prayer after me. Believe in your heart every single word you say. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said this prayer, we are so excited to welcome you to God's family. Can you go ahead right now, send us an email, let us know you gave your heart to Christ. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. 
email addresses salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. That is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. God bless you. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Arelaba. Thank you so much for being here again today. It's always a pleasure having you here. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.